スーパーロボ体制オージーダークプレイザー It's boys have king the giant robots welcome back to the dark prison Previously, antics and shenanigans abound, making a whole ass video guy for a stage unexpectedly. But hey, that was frustrating to go through and kind of neat to discover. In any case, now we have to deal with the other half of that stage. You know, the part where Shu and Sephim are dealing with Tarius. Let's go shoot a robot or two. Or maybe 25. Alright, Albana and the others are on the move. She was reporting back about Terrace. He says that he'll be able to convince him, but it may take a bit longer. She says that he wants to make sure that the decision is his own. Guy and asks what he's planning to do. And she says that Terrace is currently being transported to Zaya City. But likely to be kept under Kirk, so he'll be observed for a while. She says that he and Safin will continue while the rest head back to the hideout. Once Shu logs off, Albana mentions to Monica that they're going to escort her to Shu if she would like. And so Monica requests such. Gain also agrees to follow because he doesn't quite trust what Shu got going on. Okay, no, I didn't I didn't botch it yet. Oh. On the Sodium Fortress Ridge, Lato or Rato mentions Terry said he's gonna be escorting him to Kirk's. While Terry says that he wants to relax a bit longer, Mira points out that enemies, meaning Shu, are going after him. Terrence mentions that Kirk is also in a rush of keeping on his side to use him. He thinks about what will happen if he allows others to just use him. What a big sad. Stage 14. Then counter. Renu Kaunuta. That means. It is spaced out as Ren Counter. So... Could it be maybe making up a combined word with Re-Encounter? That is a thing that happens. On the battle map, Chica's complaining about the wait, as they've been waiting all damn day. She speculates that they'll be moving soon enough. And soon enough, there it is, Safin reports that the fortress is on the move again. But the alarm goes off, with Chica reports that several Masoki are headed towards them. We must defend ourselves. Our objective. In six turns, defeat 25 enemies. Skill point is to do so in five turns. Getting a special item. Destroy everyone. Meaning that the last shot has to be big map. My strategy guide suggests twin up and use assault. Wait, did I even get to pick where they deployed? I don't think so, no.
your twin is disturbance. Your twin is assault. Uh, I don't want that angle. I want that angle. I'm gonna take a second and see if I can get to like move people over the next to each other maybe? One second. Okay, no, I cannot choose where to be. Uh, I need Can I twin on a post mover and just kinda pick up someone who hasn't had their turn and they lose their turn? These things I don't know, I don't understand. That works because that's shoe. We'll turn on the next turn. Spell. Yep, Excel charging missile. one. Three. Two I'm shouting. Four. What did you learn? Exhaust, interesting.
Am I not allowed to target the other guy? Okay, I guess not. Seven. That would hit one dude. Fuck that. Ten, eleven. It's fine. Fifteen. We destroy ten more. Damn it. do that.
There's got to be a move for move situation again, same as the last episode. Or in like movement perfect. I think that's half the problem, but. Huh. One. One. So I'm at 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 4, 25. Gravitron Cannon, Hassa. Okay, so does it count if I get them on my turn? Or... It doesn't... What the fuck, man? I had a trophy or something. Stephanie the hard work. Stephanie reaches level 30. Okay, let me go find a positioning guide. Failed the skill point. Didn't find a guide because the guide uses the double act skill that I don't have yet. But I feel like I'm doing better here on turn four. Granted, I haven't been counting. I may not get the part. But I'm more keen on the skill part. Kill three units. Maybe these would have come closer if I had more, like, killed more of them faster. Need to move forward one space. Let's not mix. It's not everyone, but it's the skill point. I hope. Well, there we go. That works. Sephine gets back to 30. I didn't play back in my headphones, but <sighs> OBS is being funky. It's fine. I can fix it later. I remember what it takes. I think I know what it takes. One second. There we go. I'll give it back to you. Just for me. It's there. I fixed it.
even though you could hear it, the problem was I couldn't hear it, which is dumb. I digress. Story is happening. Uh, after defeating 25 units, eh, I wish we had gotten them all, but alas. More units are approaching, which Shu had noticed, and curses his damn luck. He, decided, he then decides he's going to play with the opponents. It is the Hiryu Kai that appears. A feeling the others are a bit surprised to see the Grand Zone. Yang Long and the others appear and tell the rest of the soldiers to retreat. Ryu calls out and asks if that's Shu inside the Grand Zone. Chu continues, goes back to acting as if he doesn't remember them, and Ryu falls for it. Ryu say asks how he's managed to survive. And Tasku then thinks it may be even a ghost, which upsets Chika, and says that he's real, and even explains that he's been resurrected. Ryu naturally has to ask how that happened. Hiko is about to explain about Vrokurus before Shu shuts her up. Nafin tells him to escape while she handles the team. And she says again that she is willing to sacrifice herself for Shu. Shu tells Nafin to be careful as he relies on her the most. <clears throat> Which very much delights Safin. And Shu buggers off. Chu asks Chica if anyone was following. Nobody. Chu mentions that she was a bit surprised with Chu acting out the way he did. But Chu says that he had to, otherwise, Ryun would be just as annoying as Masaki trying to go after him. He then mentions that they probably want to know why he betrayed them. Chica wonders how Safin is holding up, but Chu says that his partner is reliable and will not be defeated so easily. She speculates the appearance of the Hagani to hear you will swirl the Glant, will, will stir up Lagran as he sees them partially the cause of the problem. Sorry. He mentions that the Oracle had once mentioned about a demon god maybe pointing. Between the bad grammar and the sneezing, I didn't know how to read this. Uh, he mentions that the oracle that mentioned about the demon gun might be pointing out, might be pointing about the Masochism instead. An oracle mentioned a demon god, but maybe they were actually talking about the the, the Masochism, right? Which could depend depending on who asks and who says it and who analyzes it. He also mentions that whoever in it is, we'll end up determining that and ends up being the one writing history. What? God damn it. Bad English. Uh, he mentions that who will end up determining that. Okay. So an oracle mentioned the demon gods, but that could be talking about the Masokishin depending on who and how it is interpreted. And whomever makes that call will be the one that writes history. All right, took me a second. I think I got there. So is Safin gone? Is Safin AFK? Not everybody seems to be back on board. All right, next time. All combat is over. Now that you've tasted victory, I'm sure you'll be back. <laughs>